Kate from Elderberry Creek Farms. Today we're going to talk about the amazing potato and how you can use it for poultices. So first I want to say I'm not a doctor and I'm not telling you what you should do because I can't give medical advice. So what you need to do if something's not working then you need to stop and immediately seek medical advice. So with that said uh, we've been using poultices for a while. We've also been using poultices in the community with some of my clients and we've seen some really amazing results. And one of the poultices, like I promised you guys we'd be talking about, is potato. So potato poultice is really great for skin inflammation, soft tissue inflammation. So you can use it for sprains, strains of the muscles, I've had a client use it for menstrual cramps and it worked really well for her, but for another client it didn't work for menstrual cramps. You can use it for boils, splinters. Um, I've used it on a client with a puncture wound, um, so we can talk more about that. And then I'll share with you also about a naturopathic doctor and her teaching that I've seen and some of the things that she's used a potato poultice for. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need is a potato. You're gonna need a potato peeler. You're gonna need a little grater. You'll need either torn up cotton sheets or paper towels. You'll need some, what we call Coban, but it's self-adhesive bandages and cling wrap. And I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to need to get started. So come on in close and I'll show you how to do this. So you can get some sheets from your local thrift store. Or if you've just got old sheets that are starting to wear out and getting threadbare, those are perfect also. So this is just a sheet that we have. And you're going to cut your fabric to the size that you need for whatever type of issue you're having. If you've got a, a splinter, say, on your foot or in your hand, then you're going to need something much, much smaller. And so you would use something like this. And I'll show you guys how to bandage everything and wrap everything. If you've got something larger, like my husband had a sprain in his shoulder area, then you'll use a much larger piece of fabric. And excuse the embarrassing scissors. These are my garden scissors. I can't find my house scissors. Then you're going to use something much larger. Okay? So just depends on what you're going to use it for, how large the wound is. Uh, we had a friend that had a really large gash from something outside and it was probably a wound about this big on his foot and so his poultice was much much bigger. So this one I'll just show you as if it's for uh, what we did with my husband for his arm strain. So I'm just going to peel the potato because I don't want to get any kind of dirt or bacteria into the wound because most likely we're treating a wound. Sometimes it'll be a muscle sprain. If it's a muscle sprain, then I would just peel it with the skin on personally, but you know, each person just needs to kind of decide what their comfort level is. So you don't even need to peel the whole potato. So um, on this one, I use the larger of the two because this will get really juicy and really wet. So you just grate it up. And you want it about, you know, I mean, for my client that had the menstrual cramps, hers, you know, she was using it um, kind of a, a larger poultice. You can also use the, the potato poultice for boils, like I said, splinters, puncture wounds, where normally um, we would, our family used to run out to the nearest doctor or hospital room because my husband's a nurse and the first thing we would do is go get a tetanus shot. And now we have not had to do that um, because the potato will actually suck the debris and it will suck all the dirt right out into your poultice and you can actually see that. So what you'll do is you'll just fold up your little package just like this okay and I probably should have put down the plastic wrap first I don't like using plastic wrap I'm, I don't like using plastic but um, another thing that you can do which I haven't had time to do yet just flip that over like this something that you can do is you can go to the thrift store and buy an old wool 
pair of pants or an old wool suit and throw it in your washing machine, let it agitate, agitate, and then you can literally felt that wool suit. Then what you would do is cut up the wool into strips, just like we did with the fabric, and you could do different size strips. And the reason you use the plastic wrap is because when you put the poultice on your body, uh, let's say if you had a muscle sprain in your back and you put a poultice across your back and then you tried to tape it or wrap it, this is going to get really, really juice, juicy. And as it heats up, you're going to end up kind of making a mess. Or if you're laying in bed at night, you don't want to mess up all your sheets and then have to be um, washing your sheets every day that you're doing a poultice. So the plastic wrap, you want about, you know, for this we were going to do on an arm. And so you just want it about an inch around just to kind of help it from getting too messy and too juicy. Like I said, I did this with my husband. Uh, we had been doing some ginger poultices, which I'll be doing another video on, on his muscle strain. And then the ginger just stopped working. And so we switched over to the potato poultice. And then he started alternating between the potato and between the ginger. And that really gave him a lot of relief. He wasn't even able to lift his arm up into the air. And this really, really helped. So this is what we have, our little package. And then I guess I'll go ahead and I'll grate up a little one for an example of a, a splinter. Because, you know, kids get splinters a lot and you have to dig and dig and dig and dig. And, you know, some kids just don't let you dig. And then you've got the old way of how you do things. It's like, oh, we'll just let it fester and then it's going to, you know, get all pussy and gross and then it will just expel itself. Well, this is an easier way to do this. Also, I've used this on, if you've got a kid and they fall and they get kind of like that road rash. And I've had kids where they get the, uh, the little bits of rock or debris in their knees or in their hands. And you can't really get that out. I've got a daughter that still has a little rock in her knee from years and years ago. I wish I would have known about the poultice because I probably would have been able to get it out. Now she'll probably, possibly have to have it surgically removed. I'm going to have her actually try the potato poultice to see if it'll pull it out. So, okay. Um, I'm going to need a finger for assistance to show you how to do a splinter. So, we're going to pretend that we've got a splinter here. Um, usually splinters are on the bottom side, so why don't you flip your hand over. And you could even make this smaller if you wanted to, to be honest. So, you could just put it around the finger and just wrap it. The last splinter I treated for one of my kids, um, I did the poultice overnight, and then the next day I took the, um, okay, I've got a little bit too much plastic here to deal with. The next day I took it off, and you could tell that the splinter was actually coming out. So that day I just covered it with a little bit of, um, like a homemade non-Vaseline, kind of like a calendula salve. And then that night I put on another poultice, potato poultice, and within two or three days it completely came out all by itself. Okay, so you just kind of squeeze a little bit and it sticks to itself. And then you can trim off anything extra you have. And then the potato poultice you can just leave overnight and then just keep doing the poultice. You don't want to be digging into wounds and, and digging into things because there's you can use food and herbs and different things to naturally bring out things. You don't have to be digging in with a needle, digging in with dirty, you know, tweezers. You can end up with a bigger infection for doing that. So I just trim off this little extra bit or whatever. And this is a lot less invasive, especially for little kids, especially little kids, you know, if you, if if adults want to dig in themselves, that's one thing. It's hard to pin down a little kid. And kids think these little things are fun. So there you go. That could be used for a splinter or even if you had like a, an oozing or kind of like a pussing sore or something like that. You could do this on the arm. You could do it on, um, like I said, if you had a wound. Um, actually, I'll show you an example of the wound that I helped treat for a guy that ended up with a really big gash on his foot. And he, uh, we did the potato poultice. He did say that it itched really bad the first couple nights. And what it does is it's going to draw out any kind of debris or yuck that's in the wound. And then it's going to, the wound, you don't want wounds to close up really, really quickly. You want them to close up slowly because if a wound closes really quickly, then that's how you get dirt and particles. And that's how people end up with tetanus. 
Uh, I heard of a story of a guy who actually had the red line going up his foot from cellulitis. And normally that's an emergency room stay, sometimes a hospitalization and massive amounts of antibiotics. And this naturopath went down, put the potato poultice on, kept checking him every two hours. She did hydrotherapy. And during the day, the line, the red line started creeping back down from his groin area down back to his foot. But she said if it wouldn't have started to go down really quickly, then she would have taken him straight to the emergency room. All right, so I'm just going to pretend like I've got a big, I'm, I've got a cut right here and it's kind of red and inflamed and maybe even it's starting to look a little funky and not good okay so instead of just throwing on the neosporin which is what we used to do now i would do a potato poultice because that would help keep the wound open so i would just put the poultice on like this you've got the plastic wrap on here because as you can see um or you may not be able to see this is already really really juicy so uh, i probably wouldn't have this on during the day because it would just be too too wet so this stuff just sticks onto itself so once you get wrapping you're usually good to go i would do a poultice every night until you start feeling better so it starts looking better until you're sure that there's no infection and things have cleaned up now a potato can make it itchy so i am going to warn you of that um, but you know you can also do it on a much smaller scale for a splinter in the bottom of the foot or if you've you know gotten a little rock or something stuck in there, or if you've got a boil somewhere else, you can use this on a boil. Then a potato poultice will help draw the dirt out of the wound. So that's the purpose of the potato poultice, to draw debris, to draw infection out of the wound. I've heard of stories where people will take off the poultice and the next day they'll lift over the poultice and they will literally see, like if they stepped on a nail, they will see shards of metal after a few days. But you change the poultice every day and you can actually see the dirt and the debris come out of the wound which is just so crazy amazing to me that a potato can do that much and subscribe to our channel look at our facebook page and thanks again for watching every week have a great week bye have them drink it this week which actually i should be using this this would help me a lot faster so the juice of one lemon in each one of these which makes it pretty, I mean, I think it kind of helps everything go down too. The lemon does. All right, one more lemon to go. I just put in the last lemon.